Alright, what is going on guys? Really quickly, I had to make this super quick fucking video. I totally forgot to add this in one of my last ones. One of the biggest things about Rise of Iron, the DLC that's dropping, some of the things that you are going to need to do and or remember in order to help you in the Rise of Iron, like I don't know how I missed this, but it's a lot more important than people think, honestly. like. I apologize for missing this, but basically, guys, it's all about the heavy ammo synthesis, okay? It, I know most people don't really care about this, but if you haven't, please, right now, go and buy all the heavy ammo synthesis you can. I would start in the reef simply because you can get them at a cheaper price if you have your ether seeds, so you can potentially buy more in the long run. So, with that being said, you would start in the reef buy all the fucking ether seed or uh, heavy ammo synthesis with all the ether seeds that you have and then when you're out of ether seeds you can either well you i guess you have to go back to the tower because you can't buy them without ether seeds at the reef so as you can see here you get the fucking uh, shit ton for only 250 in one ether seed versus like a thousand or however much at the tower okay so that's just something to really take into consideration and the purpose for this is, in case people don't know, is so that when the DLC drops, you go right to your new Monarchy, Dead Orbit, or uh, future Warcult vendor, and give them all of these heavy ammo synthesis. And when you do this, you train them in for rep. So obviously, once you rank up, you get more fucking reputation and, uh, la, la, what are they called? The fucking loot boxes or whatever. Fuck. I'm having a lull here. But that's what they're used for. And... The very first day that the fucking Taken King dropped, I got my new Monarchy ship, and I had a fucking orgasm, and it was amazing. So, stock up on those as much as you possibly can, along with the Legendaries and Exotic. I know this is kind of a last minute and or late thing to tell you all, but believe me when I say that it helps, okay? Like, it comes in massively handy, I guess is the way I'm gonna say this. Like, I just... I don't know how else to put it other than you need to do this because you get better shit than you realize not only do you get your class ship or your class shaders or your emblems and stuff like that but you get weapons regardless of whether or not you are going to use them these weapons will come in handy for ranking up your light level as you would normally do so these are some things to take into consideration actually it's only a single thing to take into consideration guys it's not as important as some people would claim it is, but I think it is very, very, very important because I totally forgot to fucking do this myself and I'm slightly pissed. Because again, this makes a bigger difference than most people will ever admit or even realize, okay? So, I apologize for this late minute minor thing that honestly isn't so minor. You all should really take into consideration and do this, especially more often. You don't even have to do it right this second. Just do it throughout the entire expansion kind of a thing. Please take full advantage of this, guys. Alright, again, I apologize for not mentioning this any sooner all right but this will bring me to the end of my quick video it was one last tip i have for you all before the rise of iron drops all right guys so please enjoy the dlc i will be making a lot more videos when the dlc drops with all kinds of other crazy things to explore and tips tricks and probably a lot of how to's and or walkthroughs so please Subscribe for more content, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'm Mr. Full 86 and I will catch you all next time.